hello everyone, this is Pot Gemini 33 coming at you with a different video. Today I'll be doing a um, uh, terminal tour for uh, Orlando, uh, McCoy International Airport. So um, basically I'm going to tour uh, terminal, terminal B um, sections on gates 70 through 99, which, are the Delta, which is the Delta Terminal, the International Terminal, and the Canadian Airlines Terminal. So yeah, I hope you all enjoy. I'll see you soon. So, um, we're gonna start off with gates 90 to 99. So, Air Canada and some country. I guess an airline was scratched off. I don't know which one. Can't really remember. Maybe it was Frontier. Oh yeah, uh, Frontier train switched to Terminal A from Terminal B. So, and I saw them last time I was here. Um, the pilot actually waved at me because when I saw them, they were pushing back. Looks pretty empty. Um, all the terminals will look like this. Here's the train I just came on. If you want to see some more footage, go watch my um, go watch my video on my flight experience from here to Detroit. And on this is where the 80s gates are. As you can see, there's two Virgin Americas. Also, I saw a Lufthansa 747-8 in the retro colors. It just landed, so I'm really excited to go see that guy. But for now, it's nothing. So this is this concourse. As you can see, here's a land. Land A318 looks like. And then, um, this terminal's pretty empty. Nothing to show here. It just extends from here all the way down here. Um, since no Air Canada jet is here yet, um, it will arrive soon. I looked on the airplane with the airline manifest and it said that Air Canada was coming. It was going doing three flights to Toronto and one flight to Montreal. So it should be here soon. And the thing about Orlando, the only thing really that I like about Orlando is there are a lot of empty gates that you can just sit down and relax at. Like for example here. Here it has the Air Canada logo on it. For that. So yeah, uh, that's it for the 90 through 99 gates. Let's go ahead and move on to 80 through 88 gates. The, one, the ones I'm really excited. Hello everyone, I'm back and we're gonna now do 89 through 88 gates. I mean 80 through 89 gates. Serving Emirates, British Airways, Delta, Lufthansa, Norwegian Airways, Thomas Cook, Virgin Atlantic, TAM, and Land Peru. So let's go ahead and get started. As you can see, this is a bit more active than not the 90 through 99 gates. So I'll try to talk as loud as I can, so you can hear me. So I just got, um, so I just heard that one of the Virgin Atlantic flights is now boarding. We'll actually call the final boarding call. Here's an awesome shot of the Virgin Atlantic. Yep, I did a cross post history of Virgin Atlantic. I know I know as much as I need to. So I'm gonna move over here. Here's the British Airways triple triple seven two hundred boarding for London Gatwick. Well, should be boarding soon. So here is our first Virgin Atlantic flight. It's boarding here. And this flight to London Gatwick leaves at 6.05 p.m. So yeah, next up, uh, British Airways flight 2036 with non-stop service to London Gatwick leaves at 6.25 p.m. And here is a head-on shot with the 777 awesome looking plane. Once again, here's another Virgin Atlantic plane. Beautiful shot right here. Wing to wing. It's awesome. Okay, we're gonna move down, see what else we can find. Um, in case you didn't hear me in the last section, uh, Lufthansa, a Lufthansa retro jet just flew in the 787, the 747-8. So I'm really excited to see that. Hopefully it arrived at its gate. So yeah, let's go check it out. So uh, at gate 83, we have a plane that hasn't arrived yet. Well, it has. Here it is, right here. Uh, the other 747 for Virgin Atlantic, but 76, leaving in Manchester, UK at 6.45. 
and then uh, this guy, he just pushed out. You can see him all the way in the back there. He is heading out for London Gatwick 2. Well, um, hey, this guy, yeah, he's pulling in actually for Manchester, and he'll leave at 8 p.m. This is all on November 16th, by the way. So, and at the very end of the terminal, we have at gate 87, we have um, Tam Airlines flight 8049 with non stop service to Brasilia. There's the plane, the 767-300, there's the winglet right there, epic looking winglet. Awesome line of Virgin Atlantic. And then I'm um, trying to get a good photo of it. And here we have a flight. It's not here yet. Here we have a flight, uh, Lufthansa, flight 465, non-stop service to Frankfurt, leaves at 810. The plane isn't here yet, Once, I, as I said, it just landed. And plus, over there, I think that's the plane actually, right there. I'm sorry, it's not in the retro livery, I thought it was. Looks like I'm an idiot, it's a Dash 402. I'm pulling in, right there we have a British Airways 777-200. I don't know where he's coming from, but I know he's pulling in. Meanwhile, this guy's pulling out. So, that's it for this terminal. Well, this part of the terminal, and if you thought this part of the terminal is chaotic, wait until you see the Delta terminal. See you guys soon. Okay, uh, now we're going to do the terminal 78 through 70 to 70 through 79. And the only airline that serves is Delta. And as I can see from all the way down there, I'm in for a treat. Anyway, because the camera wouldn't focus, the camera, it's busy. I'll just put that in those words, it's busy. So, uh, yeah, as always, let's see if we can see anything from over here. Right there, this is 752. And right there is a 763, our plane. Uh, my plane to Detroit is right there. November 129, Delta, L oh, great, what's L? Um, L is L is Lima. So, yep, there's our flight. 871, not stop service. Detroit, Michigan. Now, oh, what else can we see? So, while I'm walking down, I'm just going to explain why I'm doing this. Um, basically, uh, what happened was a, um, we purchased the lower on this plane, purchased the lower rank stuff on this plane. So, we were not allowed to choose our own seats, and lucky for me, I got a middle seat, and lucky for me as well, the seat was completely booked. So all you'll see is the aisle, really. Not much, but that's it. So I'm just doing this to make to make up for it, but if it doesn't, I'm sorry, but yeah. So, next up. Here we have uh, Los Angeles, California, departs at 716. The plane is not here yet. Let's walk over here. Um, next up, we have a flight down, flight over to Salt Lake City in Utah, a 737-8 by the looks of it. And again, there's no difference between them really. There's a the plane. And then flight uh, 72. Looks like it. There you go. So over here, it looks like we've got a 753 with non stop service to Minneapolis. Looks like it just began boarding. 1974. Next up, Atlanta, Georgia, 763. Departs at 630. And the last three gates we have is a flight over to Raleigh Durham. It's a flight over to Raleigh Durham. At it de it's right here, uh, Bombardier CRJ 900. 
right there, flight 6190, that's upstairs to Raleigh Durham. Next, we've got flight that leaves to Atlanta, Georgia, it leaves at 7.30, it is not here yet, but there you go. And finally we have uh, Delta Airlines flight 942, and that's upstairs to New York LaGuardia. See if I can see the plane. Why don't they always say it before me? Right here. 737 800 with the split scimitar. So that's it, guys. Um, that's the whole airport overview. I might be able to do this as much as possible. I mean, like some airports like Detroit, the second longest terminal in the world, I can't do because I'll have to walk the whole dang terminal, so it's not going to work. But yeah, guys, that's it for this video. Hope you've all enjoyed. Right, comment, and subscribe. See you all later. Have a good one.